Hey there everyone, Sal here. A bit later than anticipated, but I wanted to take a moment to thank all of you. Recently, the channel has hit 1000 subscribers, 1.1k right now even, and the Twitch channel also has gotten to affiliate. I'm so grateful to see that people enjoy what I make, and I'm stoked that the escape room was so positively received. So, to celebrate, I have a few updates and I'll be answering a couple of questions that have been asked over the past few weeks. Starting with the updates. As you may be aware, I decided to pivot into a new study, allowing me to work from home and granting me more time to work on Daybreak and other projects such as the escape room. I feel a lot happier with my current situation and the work so far has been incredibly, incredibly rewarding. Over the past few months, I had already gotten the question from a few people if they could support me. I felt very flattered, but wanted to hold off on that until I was able to put something tangible into people's hands. With the escape room, and hopefully soon the sandbox map of Daybreak, I feel that point has come. So, with that said, I have opened a few ways to support me if you wish to do so. But please, only donate if you want to and are in a financially stable situation to do so. I am so grateful for the support that has been shown through comments, likes and interest, and I do not intend to lock any important updates behind a paywall or any of that kind of stuff. This is purely for those who have money to squander on some nerd that has an obsession with a strategy we title that is 17 years old. My god, it can almost, like, drive and it's only a few years until it gets to drink. So, the Twitch channel now has subscriptions enabled and there are already a few perks available such as emotes. I plan on adding some channel point redemptions and such in the upcoming weeks. For YouTube, I have enabled channel memberships. These are the same tier as Twitch subs and also grant emotes to use in chat. I didn't want to make the two feel different. The same emotes are also available in the Discord, and I'll be adding some more later. And speaking of Discord, if you decide to sub on YouTube or Twitch, you'll get access to a patrons-only channel where I post some bloopers, coding mishaps every now and then. Not the important stuff, just some teasers and silly mistakes, uh, stuff like that. You can also subscribe to my Patreon, which has tiers starting from $1.50, or 1 euro. There's more info on the perks there, and you will also get access to the same patrons channel mentioned uh, just a moment ago. Provided you link your account to Discord, of course. Lastly, I have been keeping a list of everyone who has helped in some way, shape or form, and I will try to keep track of all the forms of subscriptions and other kinds of stuff that people have helped me with, to eventually add everyone to the end credits of Daybreak, so that when the time comes and the credits roll, you'll see who have made this possible. Sometimes I think that what I do is just some dumb hobby project that doesn't really matter. But then I look at all the comments and the things that I've learned and the people who want to engage with what I'm making, and I realize that it does actually matter. And that's some of the best feelings you can get. So truly, thank you. Moving on, there were also a couple of questions. So I'll be getting into those now. First off, how long have you been working on Daybreak? So. I started off with only being able to do the hex editing and that was one of the things that I thought, you know what, I want to, I have this entire plan, so that was 2017, but I wanted to start smaller with a repetitive option uh, with reverse, re like with, um, with reverse recruitment. You swap characters around and that's like the same action every single time with a few changes depending on if you swap like Bayork Bayork or Bayork to Laguz. So that's when I started, 2017, and uh, not necessarily with the project itself, but with learning how to start working on the project, and I had the idea going on already. Um, next question. Would it be possible for an event to trigger an alternate promotion for a character? For example, an event that plays out and turns Rolf into a Reaver. Rolf, of course, doesn't have a Reaver model, so that would be kind of wonky. But yeah, there might be some possibilities, though... I don't know necessarily if that's going to work. Uh, I have been looking into it, but only scratching the surface, so I can't say for certain. A follow-up question. If alternate promotions are possible, would it ever be possible to have branching promotions like Sacred Stones? And once again, maybe. Paragon has only one option for promotions, but then again, maybe by using an item in an inventory you can like turn that promotion into something else. Maybe is the answer. With weapon switching, would it be possible for a weapon to swap to a different type? For example, a light tome that switches to a dark tome on enemy phase. And yeah, that's definitely possible. Luckily, Radiant Dawn has this mechanic where the damage type and the 
type of magic that you need to wield to be able to use the tome are different. So I can have a sword do light magic damage. And I can also have a light tome that does light magic damage, but then when enemy phase starts, I remove that item from your inventory, I replace it with another light tome that has the same, um, that has the same stats, but the only difference is it's a dark damage type. You'll still be able to wield it, and yeah, that way you can actually do different kinds of damage. Next question. Who would you add as a DLC bracelet character for Engage if you could? If I were to stay in Tellius, um, from a logical perspective, maybe Peleus, but I think from a more cool gameplay perspective, I'd either say Nyla or Tabarn, because Having a hawk is cool, and they already have the wolf knight, so I think a white wolf as, like, a model could actually be feasible. You'd use the wolf knight wolf model as a base and then just make it bigger and Nyla could actually be in the game. Uh, so that would be really cool. But I think a more logical fit would be Peleus. Maybe Alincia, but yeah. Yeah, I think I would have liked Nyla or Tabarn most. Would it be possible to give a triangle attack to other characters, such as the Myrmidons? And this is actually a fun fact. There are two skills currently in use, uh, skill ID try A and skill ID try B. Those are for the green-haired brothers and for the Pegasus Knights. But there's also a skill try C. So there was intended to be a third triangle attack. I don't know who it is. I don't know which characters would interact with it. I haven't found the text yet. Maybe if there is text, like I don't know for, for sure. But yeah, maybe, but it was intended at some point to have a third triangle attack in the game. And I might add it somewhere. I don't know. Teasers. Ooh. Uh, next question. Do tier 2 and tier 3 Ike use the same animations? And if so, if you gave tier 2 Ike access, would the animations work properly? I don't think they have the same animations. Um, I'm most, almost certainly they don't, because I don't think the finishing animation on Ashra is available for the tier 2 one. But yeah, technically, like I showed already that you could wield uh, axes the same as you do swords with like a video on weapons of the branded. But that would, that's like kind of cheating in a way where it just uses a, an axe model and it pretends like the game thinks it's a sword. But giving it an actual axe, I think that would break the animations right now as it is. In the same vein, is it possible to give tier 1 archers crossbows? Same thing, I don't think it would be possible right now, and I think if you gave a crossbow model but it would behave as a normal bow, you'd get a really weird effect where it tries to shoot with the crossbow as a normal bow. So I don't think those animations exist for tier 1 units. So those were all the questions. Once again, I am so thankful for all of the support and all the interest that you've shown over the past few months. Like. The videos, I really enjoy making them, and I am also really would like to make a Myrmidon video in the same style I did the Soldier video. I have so many ideas, uh, but just so little time. But once again, thank you so much, and if you want to support in a, in a different way, like the Patreon or channel memberships or Twitch subs, uh, you can do so now, and I'll also try and upgrade the Discord a little bit more as time passes. Uh, I made some changes to it recently just to clean, up, clean it up a little bit. And yeah, if there's any feedback that you have, please let me know. And once again, truly, truly, I am so thankful for all the interest and enthusiasm that you guys have shown. So uh, with that, sell out.